Hey, Garrett Brill here. Today is going to be kind of a more of a tutorial on how to set up a payload delivery system. Uh, today I am setting up the upcoming Skysmere Mammoth. If I can zoom in here. Um, and kind of before I get started, let me go ahead and apologize for the audio. I know it's going to be noisy. Um, I am in here running with a, sitting in here with a running M210. It's a quiet room otherwise, but uh, not only the fans, but the um, the acoustic part of the VPS is running. If I get any closer, it'll really make some a lot of noise. So I, I apologize for that. But anyway, back to what we're doing. Uh, the Skysmere Mammoth. Um, this is a, a unit uh, so far has been uh, really good on all the tests that it's, I've ran it on. Uh, anybody that knows anything about Skysmere, uh, maybe if you were around in the Spire one days. They had the uh, storks, so they still have them, and a lot of people still use them. Just a good quality, robust system. Well, the uh, Mammoth is no exception. It's properly engineered. Uh, I have seen some other systems on the market that I'm personally not really impressed with. Uh, they may function okay, but they'll even mount to uh, the plastic nacelle there at the bottom of the batteries. I mean, that's just plastic. I, I definitely would not want to hang any payload, swinging payload off of there. Um, this is designed properly uh, mounted to the hard point in the aircraft with a bracket coming down a aluminum alloy bracket coming down um, and then the payload delivery system mounts to that um, just a good solid again quality system on here it does plug into the expansion port and that's how it's controlled and that's really what today is about our goal is to get that that uh, bolt to slide open and close through the app okay so let's go ahead and, and get to it here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do my best to uh, show you everything that I can. I know sometimes these uh, cameras don't like these crystal skies because of the, the intensity of them, but we're gonna try. All right, so the first thing you'll wanna do is click in these uh, three dots up in the top corner, all right? And then you'll wanna make sure that you have the aircraft selected up there, right, the top one. And then you want it, you may have to scroll down to the bottom page and you have extended IO options down here. So you click on that. Okay. Next thing that you'll need to do is turn this on. Okay. So you're going to turn that, that on. All right. So now we have this, we have that switch turned on for extended IO switch. And one of the first things you might want to do is hit this uh, manage local configuration and see if you have a bunch of defaults in there. Now I don't, I've cleaned mine out, but I did have some. Uh, if you do have some, just delete them. There's an option to delete them. Just remove them because you're gonna kinda want a clean slate and I think you'll understand why here in a little bit. All right, so the next thing uh, that, that you'll wanna do to, to set this up is go to port one. Now in this case, I have the Skysmere Mammoth plugged into port one. So all these others are to control the other ports on the back. Um, this one is to control port one. And so I'm only gonna mess with port one today. Um, one of the nice things, by the way, about the Mammoth system is you could actually put three of those release systems on that bracket, and then you could set up all three of these ports, plug it into the ports in the back, and you could have three release systems on there for three simultaneous drops, say a PFD or something like that, right? Anyway, back to here, and we'll kind of go back to this page, all right, and then we're going to click on this arrow, and first thing we need to do is this one, I know it's hard to see in here, but this one says GPIO, we want to select the PWM, okay, I'm going to keep the, the geek talk as, as low as possible here, um, but in this case, what I want to do uh, for this particular uh, servo, I am going to set the frequency to 100. Okay, and then what I want to do is take and set the duty cycle. Okay, now one thing you can do with the duty cycle is you can increment it up to determine how far it actually moves at. So in this case, um, I, I know what the number is supposed to be, but I'm going to walk through it with you. I'm going to first set it to 100. All right, now. You see right now, it's closed all the way. Hopefully you can see that like I can. All right, now when I hit this, I'm gonna hit that update button, all right?
Okay, then I moved it to 150. 100 didn't quite do it. 150, okay. Uh, I thought 100 did it. So, but what you can see now, so I got, I have it at 150. What you can see now is, again, the reason I'm zooming is to try to keep the noise down. I don't know if you can see that or not. All right, probably not. Hold your ears because it's going to get loud. I'm going to bring the bring this in close just so you can see it. Alright, so sorry about the noise, uh, but you saw how the bolts partially open now, okay? So now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to bump this duty ratio up. I'm just going, you could keep on incrementing it up. In this case, uh, 200 is what I want. And what you can see now is that that bolt is completely open, okay? So now that I have the setting that I want, all right, if you were gonna do, if you, whenever you're doing this, you'll probably wanna bump it up by maybe 25% increment or 25 uh, uh, increments and then uh, until you get exactly what you want. So the bolt is fully open now, so I'm happy with that. Um, and again, the way I engage is by hitting the update button. So now that I have what I want in this configuration, okay, I'm going to hit this back arrow here. Come on. Okay, and you'll see that it looks a little different on the top than what it used to. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this save, conf save current configuration down here, and I'm going to call this you know, I'm going to call this Mammoth Open. Okay, and then I'm going to save it. All right, so uh, I just I just saved it to to what I want it to be, and now I, I can show you uh, what'll happen here. Okay, so now that I have that, I can hit Manage Local Configuration, and you see now I have Mammoth Open as an option. I can hit this button, and then all I'll do is hit Load Configuration and acknowledge and it would open up that uh, the mammoth okay but now what I want to do is I want to go back and I need a way to close it so again I'm only dealing with port one here okay so now I'm gonna go over here to port one and I'm gonna change this from 200 to 100 okay and hit done and again right now it's closed or open Whenever I hit update, all right, now you can see that it's closed, okay? And it's fully closed. I know that's kind of probably blurry shaky, but trust me, it's fully closed. Um, and so that's exactly what I want. And so now I'm gonna go over here and I'm arrow back. And you can see it looks a little bit different again. I'm going to save this configuration and I'm going to call it Mammoth close. Alright, just like that. Done. I'm gonna hit OK. Alright, now what I have is I have a saved configuration of mammoth open and mammoth mammoth close. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit manage local configuration. Alright, now you can see I have mammoth open and mammoth close. So right now it is closed. Alright. And I'm going to hit Mammoth Open, Mammoth Open, and I'm going to hit Load Configuration, and I'm going to hit OK. Oops, I loaded the wrong one. Hang on, I hit Close. Hang on, sorry, I'm trying to watch two things at once. Load Configuration, Open. Now you can see that it opened. All right now I'm going to I'm going to keep this on here so now what I can do is I can go down here and on the same page on the same page I have mammoth close I get load configuration and now it's closed okay so now what I, you've seen you've seen what I do here I just hit load configuration 
and then and then it loads it. So let me let me go in here and show you. And I'm gonna keep you keep you zoomed in there. So I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna tell it to open. You see it open. Now I'm gonna tell it to close. See it close. Open. Close. All right. So that works, and that's it. Now you can take and and uh, operate any other uh, actuator that that runs off the the same way. I mean, there's there is an actuator in there or, or a um, a servo, right? So you can do the same kind of thing. Uh, but again, this is how you you'd set up your Skysmere Mammoth, and uh, hope this helps. And hopefully it wasn't too long, and hopefully I didn't get too geeky for some of you guys. So try to keep it as simple as possible. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye.